Hey guys, this is Ishmalamti. So from my past video, I spoke about or give an overview about my MTN app, which happens to be an app from MTN, that allow its users to be able to manage um, their MTN services in, an, in a very easy way. So in this video, we are going to take a look at the mobile money option of this particular app, which I find very, very cool. It has a couple of options in there. So without talking further, let's just go ahead and then get into the app. So um, um, I have opened the app on my phone. In case you don't have this app, you can download it from Play Store or App Store. You just go ahead to search for my MTN app and you are good to go. Now, once you have the app installed, you need to um, create an account because if you are a new user, you need to create an account to be able to um, perform a couple of options with the MTN app. And this is for only MTN users. So yeah. So once you have the app installed, you have it opened, Today we are taking a look at the mobile money services. I'm going to go ahead to tap on that. One cool thing I find about the mobile money option of this particular app is that once you even go ahead to tap on the mobile money services, it doesn't directly take you to the mobile money option. A first request for your PIN. So if you're not the owner of this particular phone or yeah, you don't have seem to have the PIN, you can't proceed. So once you enter the PIN, of course, it's going to be played out. Once you enter the PIN, it is not going to directly take you to the app. It is going to generate a code which is going to be sent. So you realize there was a second section where a code was sent. It was able to detect the code and it took me to this particular section. Of course, my balance is going to be played out in case you want to send me money. Just let me know. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. So yeah, once you come to this particular section, there are a couple of options available in here. Now, these options are options which are available with the USSD code, that's the star 170 option. So let's take a look at my wallet. So once you tap on my wallet, there are four options here. You have mini statement, statement request, chain pin, and favorite. So mini statement basically gives you statements of transactions you've performed just recently. So these are transactions I have performed just um, as at um, from on the tour on the 11th to 13th um, when I'm recording this particular video. And in case you want to see more, you can tap on view account statement and it's going to show you uh, a lot more um, that is statements or transactions you've performed um, recently. So you get to see all those options in here. There are a couple of things you can actually do. So you get to see details of those transactions. And yeah, now if you are performing this particular um, statement request or maybe checking statement on the USSD code, you actually charge for it. So this is actually free. You don't pay anything to see your statement. And it's very cool to be able to see the transactions which has come through and those that you've sent and the rest so that if you are maybe for accounting purposes, you are able to go about that. So that's where the statement aspect and you can also request for statement It's just basically going to take you to the in-depth section of what we just saw. So you can see details of that also in there. And then you can change your pin from this section. Now the favorite option allows you to add contacts you maybe frequently send mobile money transactions to. So you can just tap on the plus icon, then you get to specify the details of that particular account. So that is with their favorite section. Let me just come back and come back to the dashboard. So the next thing is airtime. Of course, you can purchase airtime for yourself and for other people. So in case you want to purchase for other people, where you have your number, you just clear your number, input to that person's number, of course, starting with the 233 and you add the person's number without the zero. And then you go ahead to specify the amount and then you go ahead to buy the airtime for the person. The same way, if you want to transfer money, you come to transfer option. You have the non-mobile uh, money user as well as the mobile money user. You get to specify the details of the person. You go ahead and then make the transfer to the same way for the mobile money um, user. So you specify the amount, the number, the reference, you go ahead to transfer. Now, the last option available in here is scheduled transfer. This is my favorite so far with this app. The reason is because, so for instance, if you happen to be a business owner where at the end of every month you pay, let's say your workers or your employees, you can actually add, use this option to pay them. So you schedule the transaction, you enter the recipient number, the amount, reference, the note, and then you get to specify of how many times you want to do this transaction. So within every month, I want to perform this transaction once. So you have the one option at the first. So it's just one. And I have of every month daily or what. So I'm just going to tap on this. So this is daily, weekly or monthly. So I want to perform this transaction monthly. How many times? So of course, one time. And then 
you get to go ahead and then schedule this so once this particular criteria is met every month it is automatically going to send out the transaction to those people which is very cool there's also another option which allows you to do this for bill payment before bill payment let's take a look at approval so just as you'd go about with the normal approvals that if you are withdrawing money from a merchant you tell your star 170 you have, um, turn on your approval so that uh, that is you if there's any incoming transaction you get to see it and then if you approve upon it you are able to um, process the transactions the same way this one also um, shows you over here so if there are any pending um, transactions it shows you over here once you approve it then you are good to go so currently there isn't any uh, pending transaction now there's one thing i need to talk to you about or show you with regard to um, mtn fraudulent activities which has become a bit popular so that will be in a different video but in case you've had any experiences of um this fraudulent activities with um, mtn mobile money just kind of share it with me in the comment section below or even uh, reach me out on um, instagram or facebook and then let me know so yeah i'll make a video for that let me just come back from um, that section and then let's go to pay bill so with the pay bill options also you get to schedule bill payment just like you schedule your transactions or transfers and then once you add the details so this one gives you the services which are so these are the services which are currently available so maybe for dstv you get to specify the details how frequently you want to perform the transactions and then once it reaches those um, criteria it goes ahead to make the bill and then in case you want to make a one-time payment you can go ahead to do that as well and then you have mtn services of course if you want to buy airtime or uh, yeah you can just uh, do that over here you see your current balance and then you can buy it time from here and then finally you have their bank services which shows you a couple of banks where you can perform transactions to or from so if let's say um, i'm connected to gt bank so once i tap on it i can transfer money from my account to my gt bank account or from my gt bank account to my mobile money account yes you can go ahead to easily do that so these are uh, currently the banks which are available with these services and in case you use any of this bank you can go ahead to perform transactions in an easy way and then not um, last but not the least is the mtn momo pay where if you are purchasing from shops which accept momo pay you can pay with this particular option by scanning to pay if in case you are a merchant also you enter your, mer your merchant id and then you are good to go so basically these are the options or services available with the uh, my mtn app the mobile money services app or options of this particular app and i actually find this very cool in the sense that comparing this to the normal ussd which has um, some time out um, duration that if you're unable to perform your transaction it just times you out and you have to start the whole process again this app doesn't really do that so this is very cool you can kindly check it out and let me know your thoughts about it now before i go there is very important to know that this video is not sponsored by mtn i find it cool sharing with you and um hearing from you what you also think about this particular app so try it out use it let me know what you think about it in the comment section below and hey of course as usual if you are new to this channel kindly smash that subscribe button and don't don't forget to hit on the bell also so that anytime there's a new video you get to see it once again my name is Eshmalamte. thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one